Welcome to Japan Issues. Japan's Economy and Monetary Policy. At the Monetary Policy Meeting, the Bank of Japan updated its projections for Japan's economic activity and prices through fiscal 2024 and released them in the latest outlook for economic activity and prices. We would like to introduce some commentary on Japan's economy and monetary policy by the Bank of Japan sources. First, current situation. While the economy had continued to swing up and down for a prolonged period, depending on the situation with the novel coronavirus, COVID 19, it has been picking up since spring this year with the impact of COVID 19 waning. Looking at developments in the household sector, the COVID 19 pandemic has exerted downward pressure on consumption activity that involves close contact with others and physical visits to places. Particularly face to face services consumption, such as dining out and travel. Due to the spread of the Omicron variant, private consumption for the January to March quarter of 2022 was somewhat weak, mainly for services. However, since the lifting in late March of the priority measures to prevent the spread of disease, A recovery in private consumption has become evident along with an increase in the number of people going out. In fact, sales in the food services industry have been approaching pre pandemic levels on the whole, although weakness has remained in demand for large group meetings and after parties, for example. In addition, based on various sources, such as anecdotal information that the bank obtained from firms, Domestic travel at the start of the summer holiday season appears to have been steady. Partly due to the effects of travel and accommodation discounts provided by the local governments that have been aimed at local residents. However, the recent increase in the number of COVID 19 cases is concerning, especially because its pace is extremely rapid. In addition, Rises in prices of such items as energy and food have led to deterioration in consumer sentiment, and developments associated with these rises warrant you attention. Turning to developments in the corporate sector, firms' production activity has been under strong downward pressure due to global supply side constraints. And the impact of this has spread not only to exports but also to domestic business fixed investment and consumption of durable goods. The COVID 19 pandemic has triggered a major shift in demand from services to goods on a global basis and has brought about a rapid expansion in digital related demand and a resultant semiconductor shortage. Partly through widespread adoption of online conferences and working from home. In this situation, there have been successive suspensions of operations at factories as a result of pandemic related restrictions around the world. And the effects of supply side constraints therefore have become more prolonged than initially expected. With the addition of the impact of disruptions in distribution networks due to lockdowns in Shanghai, there have been difficulties in procuring parts recently. And the level of Japan's production has declined clearly, mainly for automobile related goods. In this situation, exports have remained on an uptrend, supported by a recovery in overseas economies. But they have seen a halt in their improvement recently due to the effects of supply side constraints. Regarding consumption of durable goods, Automobile sales have been at low levels due to strong supply side constraints, and the lead time from purchase of automobiles to delivery appears to have become longer. Based on various sources, such as anecdotal information from firms, the impact of lockdowns in China seems to have waned gradually. But developments warrant attention as the number of COVID 19 cases in the country has been increasing again amid the Chinese government maintaining the so called zero COVID policy. In sum, with the impact of COVID 19 waning, Japan's economy has finally started to show positive signs, especially in the services sector. However, due to the supply side constraints, Production activity in the manufacturing industry has been pushed down. These developments were reflected in the June 2022 Tankin, short term economic survey of enterprises in Japan, 
which shows that business sentiment for the non-manufacturing industry has improved, whereas that for the manufacturing industry has deteriorated. Next topic, outlook. The outlook for Japan's economy is that Although it is expected to be under downward pressure stemming from high commodity prices due to factors such as the situation surrounding Ukraine, it is likely to recover with the impact of COVID-19 waning and supply-side constraints dissipating. To explain this outlook in some detail, first focusing on the household sector. Due mainly to restrictions and self-restraint during the pandemic, private consumption became notably subdued relative to income. However, it has increased moderately, mainly for services consumption such as dining out and travel, with the impact of COVID-19 waning. Regarding the outlook, although private consumption is expected to be under downward pressure due to price rises, It is projected to keep increasing because savings that have accumulated to date are expected to provide support and because pent-up demand, that is, demand that had been held back under pandemic-related restrictions, is likely to materialize. Meanwhile, employee income has improved moderately, reflecting rises in the number of employees and wages associated with a recovery in economic activity. Such improvement in employee income is projected to continue, supported by this. Private consumption is expected to keep increasing steadily from fiscal 2023 onward, although the pace of materialization of pent-up demand is likely to slow. Now turning to the corporate sector. Exports are likely to increase, mainly for automobile and digital-related goods, as overseas economies continue recovering and as supply-side constraints dissipate. With regard to corporate profits, the financial statement statistics of corporations by industry quarterly show that current profits have marked a new record high for fiscal 2021. Although raw material cost increases are projected to exert downward pressure, corporate profits are likely to be at high levels on the whole albeit with variation across industries and firm sizes. On the back of an increase in domestic and external demand and partly also of the effects of the yen's depreciation. In this situation, an uptrend in business fixed investment is expected to become clear as accommodative financial conditions provide support and supply side constraints wane. In fact, The business fixed investment plan for fiscal 2022 in the June 2022 Tankin indicates that investment is projected to increase more firmly than usual. It is expected that firms will take an increasingly active stance not only toward labor-saving investment to address labor shortage but also toward other business fixed investment including for research and development in areas such as digitalization and decarbonization. In terms of the medians of the policy board members' forecasts, Japan's real GDP growth rate is expected to be at 2.4% for fiscal 2022, 2.0% for fiscal 2023, and 1.3% for fiscal 2024. As Japan's recent potential growth rate is estimated to be in the range of 0.0 to 0.5%, The forecasts show that the economy is projected to continue growing at a pace above its potential growth rate for four consecutive years when including fiscal 2021. The level of GDP is expected to recover to the pre-pandemic level, the 2019 average, around the second half of this fiscal year. However, the pace of recovery has been slower than in Europe and the United States, a topic to which I will return later. Next topic, risks to the outlook. There are extremely high uncertainties over the outlook, and risks to economic activity are skewed to the downside for the time being. Particular attention is paid to the following two risk factors. The first is the sustainability of a rise in private consumption. As mentioned earlier, Private consumption for the time being is expected to be under downward pressure from the real income side but is projected to increase, supported by pent-up demand. That said, 
Since pent-up demand is expected to materialize in services consumption in particular, including dining out and travel, developments in such demand depend largely on the future course of COVID-19. Moreover, pent-up demand by its nature wanes gradually. Thus, for a sustained increase in private consumption, it is essential that wages rise. In this regard, if, for example, prices of commodities, including grains, remain high for a prolonged period amid high uncertainties over the situation surrounding Ukraine, wage increases will not sufficiently catch up with overall price rises and Japan's economy could be pushed down, particularly for private consumption.